Hey, it's Coffee Talker, baby, yeah. I thought you were about to sing the national anthem. Oh, uh, Jose, hey, can you see? Is it in the way? Zane and Heath on filter. Featuring Matt and Mariah in the peanut gallery. Look at her go. You can sing. Matt's wearing a striped <laughs> sweat. So Zane is losing <laughs> his breath. <laughs> all right, all right, wow. enough. Done. Nice pipes, Tamika. Nice. Tamika, <laughs> nice. Ching, ching, ching. Oh, that, that's what it was, right? Oh, you know the bassist from School of Rock? She has a TikTok now. <gasps> yeah? Yeah. No, no yeah, way. yeah. She was, like, talking about, like, her time on School of Rock or whatever, and everyone was asking, why didn't you have a solo at the end, in the, <gasps> during the ending credits? Oh, shit. And wow. she goes, I did. It was just really bad, so they cut it. <laughs> oh, no. That's Shout cool out to School of Rock. Eat. Cheers, guys. Game. All right, cheers. Guys. It's Coffee Taco, baby. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Guys, before we continue, uh, I want to say this podcast is sponsored by Honey. Mm -hmm. Honey is the free online shopping tool that saves you money online. It automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them immediately to your cart at checkout. Baby, what did you buy on Honey that saved you money online? Well, Mariah and I have been shopping a lot for stuff for the house, just normal, just household items because we moved into our new spot. So we've been ordering a lot of stuff online and we actually just saved at least... 150 bucks this past Ooh. week uh, just buying random stuff and uh, it's been great it literally pops up as soon as you go to check out it's like make sure you use this you click it and it just boop 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 boop, boop applies it and you save immediately good job Mariah I'm proud of you. Honey has actually saved its 18 million members over $2 billion in savings. Guys, not using Honey is like literally passing on free money. It doesn't Come make on. sense. It's free to use and it installs in just a few seconds. And it's backed by PayPal so you know it's reliable. So do yourself a favor and get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. It's super easy and you will not regret it. Save money, baby. Especially during these times, baby. Save that money. Mm-hmm. Let's get back to the podcast. All right, we got Matt King back in the house. I feel bad. Crickets. Yeah, you should feel. You know, bad. I I haven't even listened to the last episode. I don't want to listen to the last That's episode, and I don't even think. Well, I you ever should because it was a really good episode. No, Matt, it was, it was probably our best. We did book reviews while you were gone. You know <laughs> I knew how it went once I saw the snake emojis on my. <laughs> <Instagram>. <laughs> good job, see, coffee beans. Did you see the pizza we ordered? During the podcast, yeah, we went crazy. Oh, it was a whole shebang. Oh, you guys did editing. that. Y'all ate a podcast. Uh, we ate a yeah, podcast. We we ate, yeah, we did. Oh, you ate a podcast. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, y'all. I wasn't here. Um, it's okay. What were you doing? Uh, personal emergency. And what was that personal emergency? None of your business. <laughs> Well, this is no, Zane Heath's no, business, no, and you are on our business. <laughs> and I'm here. Y'all y'all don't have to pay me for the last episode. <laughs> I'll take no, that we as will, a cut. We will. Oh, we you will? will? Yeah. Okay. You're on salary. Okay. You're on salary. Well, you deserve it. You work hard. Who's well, Sally? A lot of people had doubts, though, that I was even coming back. We had doubts that you were coming back, too, if we wanted you to come back. So. <laughs> oh, wow. This is good. I know. That looks like a promo. I'm drinking the Spike Cold Brew, and it's... It's fantastic. They're really good. We should make Spike Cold Brew. That'd we, be a lot of fun. That's on round two. And that should be the first thing we put out. And the only thing we put out. <laughs> that would be Is sick. Is it tequila? Um, I it's don't a, yeah. know. It's, it's, it's called agave. Cafe Agave. Oh, hold on. Wait. You, tequila and coffee? Yeah, that's a funky combination. That is but tequila, though, is like kind of an upper out right. of all liquors. So and then mixed with coffee, which is also an upper. Bitch, you go through the walls. Is that is that, that true? Maybe living the vida loca. I, I know that uh, alcohol is a depressant, but for some reason, I keep hearing people say that tequila is an upper. It's the only upper alcohol, it's, but that doesn't it's make not, sense. It's like a stimulating depressant. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still a depressant because it's alcohol, but tequila is the least. Of the depressants, if that makes sense, right? Weird. It's like yes. people drink tequila to to get wild, to get crazy. And then whiskey is like a downer. You drink whiskey when you're chilling. You don't really, like, you kind of like, right? Yeah. Right. That's like I, yeah, that's yeah. like mixing Coke with Zannies. Yeah. Mm. How, how, how was it when you mix it? It don't go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do it. I need that shit when, I, when I'm flying, when I'm in a plane. Cocaine? I need something when I'm flying. You got to bring a bag of cocaine. Or good that. cocaine. How's your Ambien been doing, though? Um. Oh. Your I'm on, I've been, what, oh, a week and a half? Guys, I am on Ambien. <laughs> that sentence is so proud of it. 
Ambien I'm a, been doing. Ambi- I'm, a, I'm a proud <laughs> Ambien prescriber. So I'm Ambien dextrous. Ambien I take it with both hands. <laughs> both hands. All right, so I've been on it for a week and a half. I don't take it every night, by the way. I only take it when I need to be up early the next day, which is like three times a week because I'm working out like early in the morning just so I get it. Yeah, he had day. to throw that in. Just because, I have, uh, oh, just because I'm working out. <laughs> well, by the way, guys, I'm working out twice or uh, six times a week. So <clears throat> Couldn't even do no, it so every day. You take it. How soon do you go to sleep after you take it? Um, I started with taking a full pill, and I would knock out in probably 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And it works. It's like and you're I, thought I, I thought it would feel weird before. I thought there was going to be this weird like thing I'm fighting, but I just I knock right out, and it's great. And I wake up early the next day. It's, nice. it's and refreshed. There's no, yes, like, there's, uh, there's no uh, ambient we, hangover. No, because I get that when I do NyQuil. When I drink NyQuil mm-hmm. when I'm sick, I get a weird hangover. Yeah. It's, it's awful. But like the ambient is actually not – Bad. I feel like over time it's gonna get bad because I just started. You get like a used to it. It kind of starts. Yeah. Eating. But I've been I've been really good at like in controlling it. Like when I go to bed and I look at I'm like I don't need it tonight. Like I'm I don't that's need to wake good. up early. I'm good. Well, that's and good. I've, I'm gonna start taking only half. I feel like I don't need a full one. I, take half <laughs> I just show. walk in the kitchen. I see Zane just like <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, hold on. Frying jelly beans on a stove. <laughs> Matt, like. thank God you brought that up. I was about to forget. Okay, so I took it. I had one of those moments. <gasps> you did. Yeah. You, you pushed through. I it? didn't notice. I didn't realize it until when I woke up the next oh. day. I was like, Oh my God, it wasn't dangerous though. I so <laughs> I was, I I took it. I was about to fall asleep, and then I was like, oh, I, can't, I can't sleep. I got up. I went straight to the kitchen. <laughs> I went straight to the kitchen. I grabbed Doritos and Cheetos. I put it all in one bag, mixed it up, and went into my bed and ate it. Clever. I love that. <laughs> Convenient. Which little, I never would have. I would have never mix. done that. If I, like, <laughs> right. It was just this weird, like, yeah. I wanted both, and I didn't want to eat it separately. I wanted it, like, all together. And it reminded me of the whole butter cigarette thing. An innovative genius. Yeah, it really, <laughs> truly. <laughs> Beyond- Immaculate. I'm surprised you weren't stoned, though. No, no, stoned is worse. I'm, like, taking Oreos. I'm putting in, like, milk and then mashing it up and then microwaving it. It's a But we never whole smoke mess. weed, though. We never do. No. We, no. I, I think yeah. it would yeah. be funny. Like, you know how we've done, like, a drunk podcast? Yeah. No. I hate no, weed. No, 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 no. I already know what you're weed. saying. Mariah's never smoked weed. I think it would be so funny if we <laughs> no, did would not. a weed episode. I think you're on to something i wouldn't like right. i knowing me i hate i hate being high i used to like getting high but now as you get older it's just like it's, it's not fun it's not as fun as it used to be but i think it, it would be interesting fun. if we did do it on a podcast if i was high right now i'd be like oh my god I'm if i was high game. right now i'd be looking at you thinking oh my god matt's about to kill me <laughs> he's looking at me like he wants to that's kill how me. i feel every time i smoke like whenever i smoke i that's how i feel i don't know why i do it like i take weed and i'll smoke and then i'm like Why'd I do this? I remember my first time getting high. We did, uh, what is it? The gravity bong thing. Hold on, so hold on. Whoa, What's a gravity bong? Because that's a little, uh, My first uh, time. I've, I've, I've heard of it, but like, what, you, what you, exactly? You take like a bucket of water, and then you take a Gatorade bottle, like a big Or a milk thing, jug. Or a milk jug. Cut it in half. You cut the bottom off of it. So then you push it underwater, you put the weed on top in like the cap with a little bit of like aluminum foil. I don't know the recipe, I'm just saying. Just roll a joint. <laughs> right. Um, so what you do is basically you do that, put it on top, light it, and then you pull the bottle up. So as you're pulling it up, the suction is pulling the smoke through, mm-hmm. and then you're getting an entire milk jug or Gatorade bottle full of just smoke. Oh, hell no. Then, I, would, I, would, I would die. You unscrew the lid, put your mouth over it, and shove it back down into the water so it just... Yep. Just goes right into your Who face. Who comes up? I don't understand. Yo, the creative I will say, stoners yeah. are the most innovative people <laughs> they I have really ever are. seen. With, when it comes to smoking, when, when they need to smoke weed, oh, with, with a fruit, I've with seen an apple. apple. Yep. Yep. yep, apple's very clever. They just they just align, right? A line in the side and yeah. a line on the top, right? Yeah. You did. did you use foil when you did the gravity bong? Yeah. Well, you put it on the lid and then you take the lid off. And then you go down. Oh, Y'all done the right. water bottle where you put it on the top and then poke holes and then you, <laughs> then you cut Sorry. a hole on the side. He went, he or, went around the or block. Or done like a drill bit, like 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 where you put like a almost like a monkey wrench kind of a thing. What? Like you put that on top of a water cap and then do the gravity. That sounds like some other kind of drugs. I've seen a lot of stories of people smoking weed before listening to this podcast. So I'm really excited for the people that are high uh, listening to this <laughs> and watching this because I know because right. they're listening. To that. <laughs> Hey. And I'm sure you guys, you guys are so pissed you can't even join in in this conversation because you probably have so many stories. And I don't so know. Many funny but if Mariah, if Mariah got high, she'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> she'd be coming up with all these new dance moves. What? Like oh, she'd I be didn't... hitting like the moves in slow mo, like a cheerleader dancing in, in her school, in her seat at school, just like. <laughs> <laughs> I was that bitch though, and I wasn't even a cheerleader. So. <laughs> 
but the the first time I that was my first time trying it was with a gravity bong. That's adventurous. So I did the whole thing, sat down for a second. They're like, "Oh my god, do you feel it? Like it's your first time. Like do you feel it? How are you feeling?" And I was like, "I don't feel anything." Yeah. Oh yeah, that's I, how it is. Always. I didn't always. feel anything. Like, the serious? first two or three times I got or was smoking weed, I never got high. And then the fourth time, I got high. I was like, no, I, I really don't. They're like, yeah, right. They're like, okay, hit this. You so know why? Because you, bo- you don't want it to work. Or like, it's this weird thing where like- No, I was you don't, you're not letting your body I was just it. like, I was just like, it's not, like, it's not going. You were inhaling it right? Yeah. Did you try putting it in rice? <laughs> <laughs> She's high right now, <laughs> and it's funny because I feel like you you should get so high always the first time because you're doing exactly what you're being told. Oh wait, because you the hold story, it in lo- like longer than you should. The and- story progresses. <laughs> so I didn't feel it, didn't feel it. They're like, okay, hit this bowl. I'm hitting the bowl. Probably 10, 15 minutes goes by, and they're like, all right, one more time. And I was like, I don't know what it is, but it's just not. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's it. Done. They're like, you good? I was like, yo, I'm inside myself. <clears throat> They're like, what are you talking about? I was like, guys, I'm inside myself. I was like, I'm looking, like I was looking at my right. body. Like the moment was happening and you were like aware of it, but you were more like, like filtered away yeah. from it in a weird right. way where you're like, wait, I'm not I didn't fully here, but I'm here. I was looking at my arms and I was like, I'm controlling my arm right now. Guys, are you are you aware that you can do this? Yes. Like, I am like, I am inside of like, I'm in my flesh right now. And that's, and I have, that's me 10 minutes into my ambient. <laughs> everything was hilarious. There was a picture of a dog in shorts and I sat there laughing for probably 20 minutes. Oh Jeez. yeah, we all had that. Some One of my friends had one of those neon, like trippy posters right, in right. Like, his little From guest Spencer's. house. And they're like, look at this, isn't this insane? Oh, my God. As I'm like peak high, my mom's like, hey, I'm coming to pick you up from the party, you ready? I was like, oh shit. First time being high, <gasps> I didn't know how to act. I was just like, I'm fucked right now. Yeah. Oh no, did you know she was gonna come pick you up? I had no idea. She was just like, all right, it's time to come home. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, guess I'm going home. So she shows up, and I'm in the car in the front seat with her, and she's staring at me. Oh, I'm sure she saw, saw it on my face, everything. She's pro- she probably prepares for it every time she picks you up from somewhere, especially at night. She's just like, like is already looking at you just to see if she can catch anything. And that happened to be one of those times, of Awful, course. Awful, dude. It was the worst feeling in the world, and I sat there just dead silent. Fuck. She smell it on you? I'm sure she uh, yeah, did. Yeah, of course but you can smell that. My mom's too, the type of, of person who's who's very smart. She knows shit. She's not dumb. Mm-hmm. And but she would never call me out on it in the moment. It was just like a, I don't know. But like it was it was the scariest moment of my life. I don't remember the first time I was high. I was probably so high I don't remember. But I don't remember the first time. It's just not a memory that I have. But I do remember the first time. I got Ella, one of my best friends from back home, high. And this is a story is that I'll car? remember for the rest of my life. No, n- this is not the car, but thank you for bringing it up. I'll, oh, I'll, that's a I'll good bring one too. that up right after. This was a really weird, t- really weird moment because I didn't like smoking weed, but I was like, I was convincing Ella that like weed was good for some reason. <laughs> oh, no, weed is great. I love weed, but I don't, <laughs> I didn't like weed at all. I love, I love that's weed. The same and that's like, on being 17. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Cool. And, and so I... I remember that I bought this bubbler off my friend. You guys know what a bubbler is? That's a step yes. above a bowl. It's, it's not a bowl. It's not like a the pipe thing, but it has a ball on the bottom where you fill it up with water. No reason for me to have that. I, I should just have the bong, but like I want to be a little fancy. I was uh-huh. like, look what I got. I got a bubbler. Okay. So we, so we were at a we were it was before we went inside a carnival. A carnival. Awful. <laughs> Local town. It was carnival? a local town carnival. Oh, no. But like this was a night where everybody was there. Everybody. Yep. Everybody from high school was there that night. Anybody and, who was anybody. And me and Ella, we were like, we were, we kind of stuck to ourselves like throughout high school. We were like the only like we were only friends with each other. So I get the weed, we get the bubbler. We're outside of the festival or the festival, <laughs> the carnival, and we both smoke. And I give her like more. I just give her extra just because like it's her first time. I yeah. wanted her to like really feel it. I'm such a good. You are so model. generous. <laughs> <laughs> It's because I knew I was going to get really fucking high, like bad high. So I just wanted to be on the same level as me. So we smoke a lot and we walk in. I have a backpack. I have the backpack with the the weed in it. At this point, weed is so fucking illegal. Yeah. Like it's it's just. Oh, yeah. And so we're walking through the fair where, you know, it was a good maybe first seven minutes. And then we're both like, oh, my God, this is bad. We got to go. This is bad. And we it got. 
as soon as we realized it was bad, like, you know those scenes in, like, American Horror Story, those movies where it's, like, all the, like, <laughs> someone does stilts? It's, like, whoa. And it was, like, ah! Like, it was just, it, it felt like we are on an acid trip. Right, it was just weird. Right. And all of a sudden, a cop is behind us, like, one of the cops. And he is walking behind us and will not leave our back. And I have a backpack with the weed in it. But, like, oh I'm the only kid God. with, like... <gasps> you had it on you. I had it on me. What were you going to do? A little just hit by the trail. Ferris wheel? I don't know, Matt. We just had to smoke it outside because we couldn't smoke at our house. So what and were the we bubbler, do? but the bubbler, the water is probably all jiggling around. No, like no, leaking. we emptied out the we emptied out the bubbler before we went into the okay. We're not crazy. So this cop is behind us, and he will not leave us. And we were fucking freaking out because we were like we we're not even eight, we we're like 16, 17. Oh my and, dude, god, dude, it was so fucking scary. And me and Ella were just like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And we keep on cutting corners, and he's kind of following us. And then we just bolted. We just run. We leave the fair. This is like an episode out of Euphoria. Like, it's just like, <laughs> dun, 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 No, it doesn't dun, feel dun. like Euphoria. And I remember her mom picked us up, and we were both so bad. And her mom, I, like, I think the next day, her, she, like, her mom found out that we both, like, smoked weed, but, like, never told my mom. It was good. But I just remember that it felt like uh, we were on an acid trip, and it was a nightmare oh, at yeah. this fair. Weed it was scary, not man. fun. I wish I could have an out-of-body <laughs> experience and see myself high without actually experiencing it because, like, I just have no appeal to it. I think that's the thing. I'm just, like, not interested. Like, hearing those stories, I'm just, like... But you like, yeah. but I want to, like, I want to know what I'd be like. Exactly. You, know? you I like wish to have can... a, a drink, though, right? Yeah, I like to have a drink. So it's like that, but a little bit more like cerebral. It's like that, but like also living a nightmare at the same time. Right. Yeah. You guys just seem so For, scared and paranoid. It, like, why do I want to do it, that? Did I ever tell you about the one night how I felt after I smoked? weed and what it felt like when i was sleeping trying to fall asleep oh no uh, like no. it felt like oh, it was so the worse 100 you know you oh, where it's like caving in on your chest no. and you just like feel like the weight uh -huh. that i that, had that okay yes I, I don't know if it was lace or something but i remember it felt like you took sorry i'm gonna put it between my legs it felt <laughs> like two cylinders like cement cylinders crushing my bones starting what? from my feet it was the it, it was awful. What I felt I I felt it. It was crazy. I like I was sleeping and I felt it crushing me. I'm like ah like it was hurting me. And it's crazy because we're supposed to like help people that are hurting, right? That are in pain. <laughs> yeah, but it was doing the complete opposite for me. It was putting me in pain. Ooh. Remember our first apartment where I took the edible and I freaked out and you and Elton like fucked with my room while I was gone. Oh my god. It was that like a fucked up thing to do or was that pretty like It was fucked up because you guys well, it wasn't fucked up because you guys didn't know that I had took the edible. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, have this, you is ever, this is comedy. This, <laughs> this is comedy. This is comedy. It's comedy. You know what like a chiba chew is? Mm -hmm. It's like a little like gummy tootsie roll type thing in a wrapper. So I saw those and I got one and it said quad dose. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to take it. It'll probably get me high because it's quad dose. It's got to be good. I didn't know that it meant but you split it in four, four. and you take one at a time. Quad means four. Oh, oh no. Baba. No. I took the whole thing and I was like, well, we're going to feel this one. I would like to see it. <laughs> I would like to see it. So I took oh. it, didn't feel anything. And I'm waiting and waiting, and I'm like, all right, well, you know what? Maybe it's not working. I get back to my apartment. I walk in. I go straight to my room. I'm starting to, like, trip at this point. I'm getting, like, really high and, like, worried. And I was like, let me just get home. Let me just get into my room, whatever. I walk in, <laughs> shut the door behind me, and I look down, and I had, like, just, like, vitamin pill stuff, like, on my counter that I would just have sitting out. And it was, it was in the shape of a cross, like every pill was lined okay. up. Look, mind you, me and Elton did this fuck. We did this prank on him, not knowing he took this edible. Uh, we d there was, was no. We never felt timing. we were haunted. Right. We never felt like it was just a joke that Elton and I were sitting there. We're like, let's fuck with his room and like and just see what happens. Oh, and you didn't even know. We did not know that. And, and we don't like we. <laughs> oh he doesn't smoke God. weed. He doesn't take edibles. He just happened to take it just edibles. It happened to be right there. Why did you do it? You just bored. It was, no, I mean, this I was, don't know. I was just and like, fuck it. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about me. Us. Oh, no, no, but no, yeah, no. they were probably bored too. <laughs> we were just bored. So I walk in, the pills are in the shape of a cross, and I'm like, what that was my the fuck idea. is going on? Give it up for Zane. That was me. So I go, and my light, like I have like a stand-up light in the corner of the room, and it's facing the wall. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm freaking <laughs> the fuck out. Am I making this up? I was like, it doesn't make sense. I was like, the light was backwards. I was like, okay, shit. 
get to the bathroom. And in my head, I'm like this. <laughs> get to the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> get to the bathroom. I'm like on the ground. Crawl, like couldn't figure out what's up or down. Get to the bathroom. And Damn, I'm, that's I, bad. I'm that's looking. I'm, you know when you look in the mirror when you're high and it's the most terrifying thing? Oh. Just the, the, the looking at yourself in the eyes, you're just like. Who am it's, I? It's awful. So I'm looking at myself. And I was Elton like, and I okay. put like a special mirror where we look at it. it like <laughs> it's a, it's a small mirror. <laughs> so I, I turn the lights on. Nothing's coming on. The switches aren't working. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? We didn't do that. No, uh, I found out Elton unscrewed all the light bulbs. Oh, I didn't oh, know he did no. that. Oh no, that's awesome. Where they wouldn't turn on. Oh shit! So I'm I don't flicking remember that. the switches and I'm like, the switches aren't working. And I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. I was like, okay, just get in bed, Heath. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. You're freaking out. Everything's okay. This is normal. This is my favorite. <laughs> I get into bed and I'm like, okay, <laughs> let me turn the TV on <laughs> just to watch TV and just fall asleep. Was it backwards? I turn the TV on and it's on a static channel at 100% volume. I go, and no. it's like, it is so fucking loud that I'm like, ah! I'm like, where's the remote? Turn it down, turn it down. I'm sitting here proud. I'm just... You're in the other Dude. room knowing all this is going on. No, down. no. I think we were gone at this point. We just didn't oh. know when Heath was coming back. I think because we were waiting around, waiting around all day and he just never showed up. So we left. <laughs> Literally. The, oh, I would love yeah, to see that reaction. The worst night of my life to the point. You ever almost like contemplated calling the police because of how high you are? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was, I had my phone and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna die I'm gonna die So before we continue You guys have heard of Meat Undies They're pretty much on every podcast Ever existed mm -hmm. But besides that Meat Undies makes the world's most softest And most sustainable underwear That's right You can either choose a membership A build a pack You can even Match your significant other Bubba Bubba So no matter what you choose You're gonna get your undies Delivered straight Directly to your door And with free shipping And baby They got a bunch of different Colors, patterns, sizes mm -hmm. They go from sizes For extra small To 4XL Right You can get them in black Or gray Stuff that I like Or you can get unicorn Rainbow cactus, All sorts of stuff That Zane likes yeah, I love I, Pink Pink is my favorite He, he likes showing I Some looked funky down, undies I looked down Like I was wearing a pink shirt I was wearing a pink shirt Earlier today It was funny They really are the softest Underwears They also have the lounge wear that's the the long leg one that you can wear while you're sleeping Ooh. around the house which is super comfortable as well yeah no i i wear them every night it's just it's the softest underwear they, i've ever owned i got these little like cute cactus ones that they sent mm -hmm. me last year it, it's i still wear it all the time it's and just the most comfortable what's thing. crazy is that they don't like get bad they like yeah. normal underwear they'll they'll like disintegrate start getting like these weird little like they get crunchy balls. right yeah and uh no but they're they're super sustainable and they last for Honestly, forever that I've noticed so far. Yeah, and they feel good on your face because when I put it on my face, whose like, undies are you rubbing up against? Oh no, it's my undies. I just I'm while I'm wearing one, I grab the, my my fresh pair that I just came out of laundry and I wipe it on my face and it's very soft. Me undies actually has a great offer right now for any first time purchasers. You're gonna get 15% off and free shipping. Mm -hmm. And this is a no brainer because this is 100% satisfaction guarantee, mm -hmm. baby. So if you do want to get your 50% off and your free shipping, go to meundies.com/unfiltered. Again, that's meundies.com/unfiltered. Mm -hmm. Can we please talk about when I ate half of that uh, moon cookie? It was, <laughs> it was it was this moon cookie, more like the glue cookie. Uh, he couldn't get off the couch. It was it was nuts. <laughs> so did I know it was weed? Yeah. Okay. So I knew it was weed. I didn't know I was not supposed to eat half of it. it. It's one of those cookies where you only eat like a couple bites or like a quarter. But I ate like half the cookie. It was a big cookie. It was like those jumbo cookies. It was like the the uh, Lenny and Larry complete cookies. Yeah. yeah. And it was it was good. So I was like, it won't hurt if I eat a little bit more. It's not going to, you know. So He I, was just loving the taste. It, it was, the taste was really good. Like the, those Oreo wheat cookies taste good. <laughs> and that's how I eat a lot. But I ate half the cookie and I was sitting there and I'm watching TV and all of a sudden I'm sinking in the couch and I am completely paralyzed. Paralyzed and I'm not like exaggerating. I was paralyzed. I My phone is right there on the couch and I have to move my fingers to call Heath because I was so, so high. I had to call Heath. I put him on speaker. I'm like, Heath, Heath, I can't move. And he <laughs> knew that I ate this cookie, but like I don't think he understood how bad it the was. The severity. And I was like, 
Heath, I, I ate a lot of the cookie and I can't move. He's like, he, I've he's fallen like, and I can't get up. He's like, <laughs> Zane, you're fine, baby. You're fine. Just get someone. I'm like, Heath, no, I can't get up. I can't get up out of my seat. Should I call 911? He's like, Zane, don't call 911, baby. You don't need the, you don't need the you're cops. Good, you're good. Dude. I was like, no, dude, you don't understand. I feel like I'm going to die. If Imagine just... us live on this podcast having a panic, though. No, I, no now, now, now these people want to. These people want to see it. Now. Yeah, they're gonna want to see it. They're gonna want I mean, to see it. But I'm just letting you know, we're not gonna be on our A game, I or we may be. Uh, what who if knows? we're so on point, like that we just <laughs> do it every time? Our brain just changes. Like we're just so fucking smart, and we know we, everything. Like no fact checking. We actually make sense and finish our sentences. And we have facts to back everything we're talking Could you about. Imagine. Yeah. Wow. Give me the weed. The first time I smoked weed, well, I I went to a church camp. Oh no! Did you? Guys oh have, my god! Oh, you're yeah. bad. No, no, hold on. I didn't smoke weed at the church camp, but did you guys ever have like Young Life at your school? Young no. Life. It was no. like a, it was like this uh, like Christian youth teen youth organization group. Youth group. Youth group. Right. Basically, at your high school, it's extracurricular, and we went away for like you know like a week or two during the summer. But every night we'd have like cabin time. Like all like the guys in our cabin. I, was so I know, I know what cabin naughty. boys tell me when <laughs> you're high. Oh, boys, neither. They would sit down with like you know your your you know your school ambassador, your like spiritual advisor, and it, we'd all have to you know have a little heart to hearts about like what we've been going. My through. mind is in the gutter. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just thinking. No, no, wait, no. It's, <laughs> I'm thinking like church. We got to go heart to heart. Heart to heart is the conversation. Oh God. You, I just I, when it comes to religious camps, I just feel like it's oh there's a bitch there's a murder hornet here. Oh <laughs> run no. a plane oh, just wow. flew it, through it the window. It, it died right. instantly, guys. I let think it the let it be. <laughs> let Matt, it that was so good. Let, no. it be. What, let it be. That that pun? was good. Wait, that was good. Um, is it a B? I think it, I is think is it a might bee. have been. It's a little chunky. Now leave your badging. Okay. <laughs> okay, so but during those cabin times, all the guys would talk about like. Get him, Bubba. Get wait, him, Bubba. Oh, oh, that's a bee. Oh, that's a bee. Oh, baby. oh that's an actual bee. Oh, we were fucking around. Matt, it's literally like yeah, right behind you. Just step on it. Hold on. No, no. When you step on a bee, it lets out a scent where it lets other bees know that it just I heard died. That's true. And for them to come, is it bad if we kill this bee, guys? Oh. And Heath killed the bee. Close the door before it leaves the scent to the other bees. Quickly. A Aquila and the bee. <laughs> Oh my God, Matt! That was good, guys. Did you hear what Matt said? Aquila and the, the Aquila and the V. Remember Aquila? Aquila, Aquila. Yo, guys, we're we're on point Aquila tonight. I'm really Te proud of us. Tequila Mockingbird. Te <laughs> okay, so I okay, I'm at church camp, but all the guys during these heart to heart things are like, you know opening up and dishing out like i've been smoking weed and i just feel like i'm going off my path of god and everything and like we all had to go around in a circle saying like what we need to own up to or how we right. distance ourselves from god it's like confession. and as everyone's going around talking about that they've smoked weed i'm thinking shit i haven't done anything bad oh god forbid oh, like, guys i cliff notes the book for last summer reading <laughs> and i didn't really finish it oh uh -huh, wait was this before or after you threw rocks at moving cars on the highway uh around that time probably oh, okay you, but, did, it with the, you did it with the church he did it with the church group they with the church boys but i just realized oh my gosh a lot of people smoke weed and i haven't done it so right when i got back from church camp instead of being on that high of jesus i wanted to get high on the oh, weed yeah. Yeah, baby. So I tried it out. And I did it like three times. I never got high. Then my fourth time, I did get high. <laughs> Sorry, but no. I hated it. A, took, a novel. Virgin Mary, more like Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm saying. But I hated it. It took me like a church That's experience good. where I should have been coming away, making all the right decisions. I was like, I got to live this life. He was I've just curious. Too, by the, too much by the rules. Dude, you got to live a little bit, you know? I'm not, I'm, guys, I'm not saying to smoke weed at a young age, but. You know what's weird? I remember like being younger and like hearing people talking about it. And I was like, wait, that's a real I, thing. Oh, hold on. You you uh, did? Uh, like in middle school, like I had remember friends that were like. not knowing what weed I'm, was? You were just like, what, what I, do you mean? I didn't believe it was real. I remember I going know. in PE and going up to kids who I knew like knew about weed. I go, do you, like you've seen weed, you've smoked weed. And they go, yes. I'm like, can I come over just to see it at your house? Like I was just like that's I, so funny. I just want to see it. That's to some know shit, it David. Yes. Like, dude. That uh, sounds such like a David thing to you do. You know, like I just yeah. want to like just just show just me. Curious. I don't want to smoke it, but I just want to like know that it is real because it's weird. Like 
the time when weed actually comes into your life and then it's like this is it the first yeah. plant oh it's crazy i got a story but i don't know if my mom will kill me but then i think my mom baby will this is zayna heath on filter okay. baby lay it out so um this is back when like ipods were around um so we oh, didn't have iPods. airpods or anything but i needed headphones and i knew that my mom always had headphones in one of her nightstands and i went to my mom's nightstand and i was searching through it and i found this box and i opened up the box and inside of it were three joints and a little <gasps> tiny what thing I had. whoa okay so i find this and i am shook like i can't believe and you knew what, what? it was I knew exactly what it was. It was yeah. It was like weed. How old were you? How, like where, what grade it were you? It was like in? a freshman in high school. I oh, didn't even okay. really smoked weed. It but I gotta good. say, these joints looked old. Like I'm talking about very old. They weren't freshly rolled or anything. Like they. They're vintage. Oh, it could be like a memory, like a, like a, su a souvenir. Vintage. So then in high school, I would like occasionally maybe smoke weed in my car, and my dad one time like got in my car and he was like, "What?" And he was like looking at my floorboards and stuff and like picking grass up and goes what is what is this what he goes have you been smoking weed in this car blah 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 and was like coming he was after me up pulling grass like he was looking at my floorboards like trying to like see if like any my, my little piece of grass was weed, weed. But it oh yeah, yeah, yeah and it was like uh, no sir no sir sir sir, sir. sir. no sir <laughs> sir no. and then he like sits me out on like our back porch and it's like i can't believe you have you been smoking weed blah 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 Oh, and you I gave go, it to and him. I go, you and gave I go, it to and him. I go, you know what, Dad? Doesn't Mom have three joints? Yes, baby, Woo! yes. And he goes, yes. and he goes, what? Ooh. What are you talking about? Started oh, a flight. just kidding. Oh, <laughs> and I go, I go, Mom has three joints and a baggie in her nightstand. And then my, and then my dad goes, I have no clue what you're talking about. Cindy, <gasps> oh, come out shit. here. My mom comes. Oh, my no. And she's like, what? And I go, and he goes, Matt says there are three joints in your nightstand. She knew it was and, and she goes, those are from a long time ago. I keep those around as memories, I guess, like for the what, end of like the world. When they would go to Woodstock. You yeah. Know, yeah. Like, no, I could see. So it was just saving. like a, it was like a keepsake. My mom wasn't smoking weed. They weren't. Seriously, my parents did not. But why wouldn't you, I'm surprised your mom w wouldn't at least. Tell him, hey, by the way, these are memory. These aren't like, I'm not smoking no, my, these. These are it's a memory. It's just my mom's like stuff and his stuff and her stuff. Like my dad's not looking through my mom's stuff. You know what I mean? But right. like, no, it's, it, it, you don't it, it know, was a nightstand. Is it? But you don't know what's in Mariah's nightstand. Oh, remember you threw out? Oh my God. Oh. It's the same That's nightstand. exactly right. I didn't know. I threw away a leaf from her grandma's It was a petal. It was a rose funeral. petal. It oh. Was, I didn't know it. I was like, well, you, this is trash. And I fucking swept asshole. it up. He was just getting rid of garbage on the nightstand. So he had like a receipt. He threw away the petal. Oh. And I looked at where I put it and I was like, did you find something in this pouch or whatever? And you were like, yeah, I threw it out. So he dug through the garbage and found it and pulled it back out. It's this little petal. Oh, that thank I God he found it. We'll, we'll label it, Mariah. Yeah. Oh, Matt, what happened? What happened is my mom said it was... Oh, like there was a, a, your mom didn't get no. grounded. No, that's what I tell my kids when they. We find love you. Make, make good decisions. That was basically the end of the argument. Yeah. Yeah. Kids today They're have souvenirs. this shit so easy. Like I remember I feel like walking kids in. Smoke with their parents. Kids, well, yeah. well, like back when we were younger, like I would walk in, I'd have to try to figure out how I could get straight to the bathroom, wash my hands, my face, spray some Sin. Febreze on my shirt, try to fucking like do anything I could to try to get away from smelling like smoke. Yeah. But, but now kids got like vapes and they could put like little weed oil. They could do whatever they want. But no, they're still fun. hiding it though. They're hiding it. They're no, hiding they're still it hiding it, but it's, it's easier to hide a little device than it is yeah. to hide an entire odor that sticks on you yeah. for yeah. six plus and hours. What's crazy is half our friends back in high school all of them had parents that did not care we were the only ones that had parents but you know what that, you know what they were the cool parents back then but looking back i'm yeah. so glad i did not have cool parents me too oh, my no. parents my parents are cool but they weren't like the come over smoke we get drunk here's alcohol everybody having a good time my parents yeah. paid attention and that's what i'm grateful for right. like yeah. having yes. parents yeah. that are like always constantly turning a blind eye to you like here's the thing we thought those parents were cool but in reality, they just don't care. Right. And I think that's what we were, we were getting confused. Parents are also like so afraid of their kids not liking them. Like my mom was like, I don't care if you don't like me. I'm not your friend. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. She like, said that. Yeah. She's, she, See, every, but some moms mom want that, to be their daughter's right. best friend. My daughter's friend. my best friend. My mom tells me all the, to this day, she tells me all the time. She's like, I'm not your friend. I'm Did you like friend. that? 
I did. I because I was scared of her. I respect her. I didn't do bad things. Would you say I that? I turned out all right. Would you say that to your daughter? I don't think I would say that. I think I would make them because when my mom said it, like we would laugh, but I knew she was like serious. Uh, okay, so she like like yeah. But I think if I had a kid, I would make it known that I am your mother. I'm not like just one of your like. Ho- you could do whatever you want. You could talk yeah. about right. I'm right. a cool mom. Yeah, yeah. I'm a regular like mom. this fun mom. But like. like I I didn't like how strict my parents were, but I feel like with how I how I see the world today today and how I am today, I feel like I want to be like that with my kids too. Mm-hmm. It's okay to be a, yeah. str- a strict parent. It, it really does make you a better person in the end. It's, yeah. You're going it's to be a- an interesting parent Me? because well, I think Zane, your life in your household upbringing is something that like hardly anybody oh, experiences. Yeah. It's, so it's you really you've experienced such uh different forms of discipline on like two different spectrums and yeah. you're, you're a mishmash of that and it's so hard like i you're you're going to have traits of one side and traits right, of the like other what he's going to take with him into adulthood, into it. parent life because that like whole that. like going back and forth to two houses that are completely different religions and they both see the world differently and both punishments are different it it was really, really, really interesting. Was it confusing? You were just like, okay, this is how it is. Or the, were you like confused on how to like, well, what am I allowed to do? What not am I confusing not allowed to do? at all. But my dad's side, Muslim, uh, you, you have to eat blessed meat. You have to no drinking. It's there's a lot of there's a lot of rules when it comes to the religion. But my mom's side, there uh, Christians. There, there's no like you can drink, mm-hmm. you can you eat like regular chicken bowl. So having to go back and forth with that was That's very very wild. difficult. That's and being young, my mom wasn't gonna. She was like, honey, you eat whatever you want, which, uh, you know, I'm glad that my mom did that. Like, there shouldn't be any rules when it comes to something like that. And, no, but, but it, it will just be interesting how those uh, qualities of having that experience, yeah. how it plays out into and your it's own definitely, parental discipline. Yeah, and it's definitely better now. Like, uh, going back, it's completely fine. Yeah. I feel like it was, for some reason, just back then, everything was just stricter. Mm-hmm. Our parents were all stricter. Now, parents, I feel like, are a little looser with their Who kids. Who knows? Right. Everybody has phones. Every, we didn't have phones back then. There's because a lot of kids in our school all had phones. I didn't have a phone. Until I didn't I was have 18. a phone for a long time. But it was normal to have a phone. It's just. <laughs> phone I think I was really like strict. a junior when I had a, my first. Phone. But we didn't have internet access. We didn't have access to the WW like. Right. Well, what's what's World crazy is like it's kind of bad that these kids have that access at such a young age. Yeah, it's yeah. actually I like know. I agree with that. That's why they're growing good. up so fast because they have influencers do you, online like, to do they copy. Have, do they have parental controls on phones? Nothing. Unless the parent <laughs> bought it, set it up, and has some sort of password that oversees the entire device. Then that must be what it is. Right. It's like a yeah. code. It's a code. Same thing with like parental TV guide. Oh like, my, that was the worst. Up. Do you Dude. remember there were like poor? Remember there Bro. were the porn channels. So all the porn guide, channels are blocked. But like all of ours are blocked, and it just said adult entertainment. But my grandpa's com- uh, my grandpa's yeah. TV guide. It was just like three blonde bimbos <laughs> in a in a uh, mechanic <laughs> shop. But like, that was, I mean, back then that was the only way we could watch it. Was TV, yeah. but it was all fucking blocked, so you had to Dude, use your imagination. My, my parents were my mom. She was the worst with like parental like guidance block. Do everything. She you blocked could, everything, or the worst the like oh, was bad. It no. wasn't porn for him. It was do anything you could possibly imagine. Like I was lucky to have SpongeBob and like, <laughs> oh. everything. No, was I remember blocked. there was like certain like music video channels that you couldn't watch. Dude, right? It was everything, but you know what? It was what it is. It is what, what it is. is. But I remember, like, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have anything. I had just Nickelodeon, Nick Jr. Jun- <laughs> and J-Lo's new music videos that came out. Every <laughs> month, right? So I remember, though, my one of my friends had a cell phone. I didn't even have one yet. And he had internet. And it wasn't what? like it oh, wasn't it's weird. internet. It's weird. Yeah, it wasn't internet. Like right now, like you go like, OK, Safari. And then I'm on. It, it- was this weird connecting thing you got on and you could like go to google but it took you like a minute to search anything you scroll with a ball uh. like you could barely see the page oh, you have to like go yes. down 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 my oh, first time yes. seeing like boobs and like a female body was on his phone uh. and he was like he would press like a next image and we would sit there just and just wait for a minute just for it to load in. Oh, Dude, my God. Crazy. For all you kids that have phones now, just be, be thankful. Be grateful because this shit 
was tough back then. Do you guys remember like being so excited to come home from school because you know you were going to go on AIM? It, it, your I computer. couldn't have it. The sound <laughs> of it. I remember none of my oh friends my had AIM when I first found out about it, but like the other moms in the neighborhood did. So I would just be so excited that I could instantly talk to them. I would talk to all the other moms. That's <laughs> like, oh hey, God, this is Matt. Matt. I'm on Cindy's account. How are you doing, Kelly? <laughs> like, Do any of you guys like memorize any of your friends from school's home phone numbers I, I have like a few memorized uh, yes still, yes just yes no, dialing oh, not, them every day i only know my home phone like my home phone number not yes. anybody else should we say them the <laughs> we do have to give a big shout out to express vpn everybody knows that they protect your security and your privacy online but did you know that you can actually access different shows and movies from other countries mm -hmm. can i be honest with you yeah I've been uh, binging Doctor Who on okay. UK Netflix with ExpressVPN. Oh, really? Yeah, because they don't sick. have they don't have the US version; they have the UK version. That's so pretty cool, especially that. if you're traveling or if you're somewhere else right now. Yeah, uh, you can put in your location that you're somewhere else and be able to access different shows or movies, like I said. Ooh, it sounds good, man. Ooh, especially baby. during these times, man. We're talking, because we need we need a lot of watch. I feel like a, a CIA agent, just like. Cause I'm, it, I'm hacking the mainframe. Exactly, because the U.S. Netflix ain't enough. We're, we're, we've, I've, I've watched everything already on there. Right, exactly. So we need all the other versions of Netflix. Mm -hmm. And ExpressVPN just does that for us, baby. baby. spice it up. Yeah. It's so easy to do. I literally fire up ExpressVPN on the app, change my location, refresh Netflix, and boom. Simple as that. Simple as that. ExpressVPN actually hides your IP address and lets you control where you want it to think you're located. Oh, and catch this. It's not just Netflix. ExpressVPN works for any streaming services like YouTube, BBC iPlayer, Hulu, literally you name it. And what's great is that ExpressVPN is compatible with all your phones, your smart TVs, all your devices, you name it. So you can watch what you want on a personal device, on the big screen, wherever you are. So if you want to check it out, go to my special link. Uh, uh, our special link. <laughs> That's right. Our We're special team. link at expressvpn.com slash unfiltered. You can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Mm -hmm. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself. That's right. So go to expressvpn.com slash unfiltered unfiltered again that's expressvpn.com slash unfiltered oh you know what i want to talk about is our surprise that we had to do this past week oh my oh my god i don't even want to talk about it <laughs> the was so, that was the shit was so fucking it stressful. was a surprise to us okay what was so about to go down let's give you a little all they right, won't so, know about it yet no we haven't no haven't no but anything. and honestly i think we can talk we won't say too much but we'll like we'll just give you a lowdown of like what happened so heath and i we were invited to be a part of um, YouTube's uh, Dear 2020, 2020 uh, virtual graduation, which is such a huge honor that when we were invited, we we're like, oh, that's awesome. Cool. When we saw the list, we we're like, wait a second of other why, people who are on it. Why it's are we insane. in this? Because it was the most the most important people, I feel like, in the music industry and in the world there was and a in politics in the system. <laughs> and then it was us, me and Heath. And we were like, we looked at each other like, we're going to fuck this up. Uh, Heath and I's idea was, oh, let's give back to like the graduates. Some of the graduates that so, we could. So we wanted to donate like thousands of dollars to all the graduates. We thought it'd be really cool. Um, it was for YouTube and I don't know. It was just something that we thought you yeah. guys deserved, people graduating and... I don't know. It was it was just like it's we just wanted a to fun, get back in somewhere. Just a fun, upbeat, heartfelt video that we were gonna put on the uh, the the live stream. Yeah, it was on their live stream, and so which comes out um, on June sixth. June sixth. So 6th, if you guys right? do want to tune in and see what we did, yeah, uh, put together for that, that'd be great. Yeah, it's it's because we we have it now and it's actually really cute. But man, it, we went through a lot of trouble. So we were invited to do it, and I was like, obviously, they probably don't want the type of video that we make because it's oh, not yeah. the it's not Absolutely. the highest production. It's not the best looking videos. They're very that we shaky. Do. So we were like, you know what? Let's step out of our comfort zone. Let's do something above and beyond <laughs> what we normally produce. <laughs> so we we were getting inspired by other different, you know, uh, Kevin Hart. In his car, there's multiple cameras. Uh, James Corden. Yeah, it was just like car karaoke. Yeah, right. We were like, let's do something super high production. <laughs> multiple cams <laughs> in the car. Basically, we let's like, switch lanes to another lane and let's try it out. And let me tell you, we bought cameras. We got GoPro. GoPros. We, Three GoPros. With the little sticky shebang. attachments to the windows. We just. I'm gonna take blame for that because I was the one that was like, Hey Heath, we should we should like really do it like this. I was like, We sh look at Kevin Hart. He's look. Look at what he's doing. It looks really good, right? And he's just like, yeah. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest. I, I forced. I was like, we should do it like this. In the back of my <laughs> mind, 
I knew. I was like, okay, first of all, their car's being towed as they're recording. I didn't know this. I was like, oh, you just they, found they that have, out. I found right. that out. They have mounts that are across the windshield with cameras hanging down, twisty knobs to tighten. But stuff. you see them driving in it. Right. It looks incredible. No, but like, why do you see Kevin Hart and Chelsea it's Handler driving in actors. it? Actors. It, there you go, Bubba. Oh, so these were like this was filmed separately outside of the episodes, like outside of them in the car talking. No, uh, you, no, have you seen the video in the wheel like this? Yes, they're seen being the video pulled of them being around, pulled and they're just like this. I know you always think James Corden's driving. He's not driving. He's being pulled around. We're so sorry, Zane. We're sorry you had to find out this way. I am. I am embarrassed. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> we got all the equipment that we needed. We set it up. We got GoPros dying in 10 minutes. Our lives. <laughs> <laughs> then no way where you're going. Through. Baby, 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 hold your horses. Let's start from the beginning. There so was so much. It was just, we woke up. We were ready to go. The cash was going to come in at 11 because we had to pull out a lot of cash so we can give cash. We didn't want to give checks. And the cash was like an hour and a half late. So it already started just very late. And Matt had a lot to do that day. And we're, so we, we were on a time crunch. We knew we only had two hours. And... Cash was already an hour and a half late, and we we're like, "Oh my god, shit, shit. okay, it's it's fine, it's fine." Matt, we're so sorry. And then we didn't have one of the love mic cords, so we had to drive all the way to Jeff's to pick all that up. So we, we were like about three hours late at this point, right? Three, four hours yeah, late into it, at least. Uh -huh. And then we get all the cameras up. We're like, "All right, let's get started, guys." We are feeling <laughs> ourselves. We're, we're excited. Like, we're, we're, wait, the boys are wearing button ups. I'm in a cute blouse. We look so I'm, cute. I'm Hair over here. Makeup. I'm over here in the front seat. <clears throat> front center rolling we've got left <laughs> camera rolling live everybody the one of the lav mics isn't working so we're like oh shit what are we gonna do matt pull out your phone Bo voice memo we're gonna do this we're gonna get this done <laughs> we stepped out and we had to step back into our comfort zone and after all this at this point like i was completely flustered when i like when i get flustered Game over for me. I have a I can't picture of Zane flustered that I, I'll insert here in the car. He's like, you took a picture? Did, did, no, I, don't, did, I, took, I don't remember approving that shot. I Did took pictures of all three of you in the moment where we were like, this is not good. It was just, everything was just going to shit and we haven't even gotten started yet. And this right. is, we're not even to the bad part right, yet. Right, we did not even start. We're not even at the bad part yet. These can't, we were looking at these GoPros after finally figuring it out. And where are we at now? 70% when it was a they, full battery. It was bad. So we finally get it up and running. We're like, okay, we're a mic down. Here we go. Batteries are dying on us. Literally after we filmed the first little segment, we're like, oh my God, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do what we know. Know what works. We, we're down a mic. We need to replace it. We come back to the house to start over, grab our podcast mics. And we're like, you know what? We'll go, we'll go handheld. We'll drive and just like kind of cruise around with this. Because it's really funny because um, in the beginning when we first started this podcast before the first episode. This is exactly what happened to us. Disaster. The lav mics, we couldn't get it figured out. Matt, uh, Heath and Mariah were just on it and it just wasn't working out. And I just remember it was just – it was awful. And then we just bought mics and it worked like that. And But we spent – it was like eight hours on the lav mics. It was bad. And then the mics were plugged in. Crystal. And it was so frustrating just it, like witnessing that. And we were going through, we were doing the same thing, using lav mics, using GoPros, shit that we're not good at. <laughs> we get the handheld mics. We're like, all right, let's do it. The cameras start falling down. The brackets are breaking. <laughs> the shots are falling while we're recording. And we're just like, oh my gosh. I was like, you know what? Screw this. Fuck it. Pull the plug. We got a handheld camera just like our vlog camera. And we're like, let's just do it how we know how to do it. And it's so funny because in the moment, I was like, why is this isn't working? This works for everybody else. Kevin Hart did it. And this is when you guys told me, Zane, they have a full bar. And they have a full fucking bar in their car with GoPros attached to it. They also have the it's people pulling the car that has the audio engineers who are sitting there just like. I found all this out. You got out. me in the back seat with my headphones. All I hear, <laughs> I was too scared to say anything, but all I hear is. <laughs> I was like, good. And I, we did, and I didn't know that until he told me that, but this was like right before we started. And I was just like, oh my God, guys, I didn't know this. And they're like, yeah, Zane. I was like, oh my God, fuck, I'm so. I was apologizing the whole time because this was all my shitty fucking idea. Hey, no, but we were, we were all excited. Like, I was super pumped. I was like, you know what? Let's do something cool. Let's try it, to make it like we high tried production. So because it was traditional media. It was a bunch of people right. that had no idea who we were. So we just wanted to give a little bit of a better right. quality. Right. 
And yeah, it was just, it was, it, it continue. we're not there yet. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. And mind you, Matt had to be done by three o'clock. We started at like 3.30. Yeah, I canceled it was bad. all my plans. Actually. Yeah, and we felt, we felt <laughs> we awful. We felt horrible. Because it was supposed to be just Heath and I doing this. And we're like, it would be really fun if all four of us did it. Like, it'll be so, like, it will just be really fun and cool. <laughs> 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 it was it was something we're going to we're going to, what the first first few houses nobody was home every house we pulled up to they were at home the thing is like we picked a bunch of people at random we were going to their houses and keep in mind these houses are pretty far apart so it was just yeah. like strikeout after strikeout the after strikeout the houses were like 30 to 45 minutes yeah. away uh -huh. they were in LA but it was so it took so long to get to each house. Uh, yeah. L.A., I, I feel like if you don't live here, you don't realize how big L.A. is. It's like, yeah, oh, you absolutely. think about Los Angeles, whatever. But it is huge. Yeah. So we were going all over the place, and nobody was home. It was just, it's just shit luck. <laughs> and we were just getting strikeout after strikeout. It was just one house after the other. Like, people weren't home. Someone tried to <laughs> steal the money. Right. Someone, we, like, we showed up to a, a, a person's house that just graduated. That left the address. We get there, left our little present. Somebody comes out and we're like, oh, is so-and-so here? And they're like, no. No, it was really weird. It I was, was like, strange. I was like, are you sure? And they're like, yeah. I was like, oh, sorry. We, we must have the wrong house. And I went to go pick the package back up that we had left. And he grabbed it quickly. And he grabbed it and tried bolting back into the house. I was like, no, 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 no. I was <laughs> like, I was like, that, that's mine. No. And he was like, oh, 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 and like froze. Because like, the, the box, it was a box of donuts and it had money. It had money attached to it. Yeah. And <laughs> it it was, was, we couldn't believe it because it was funny because we were like, the next house would be good. Next house would be good. And then we, I look at, I look at both Mar Mar Mariah and Matt. And I'm just like, it's going to be good. It's fucking empty. And we thought. We thought YouTube was playing a prank on us. We right. thought YouTube like knew when we were leaving right. and decided to tell every house clear out, clear That's out, what and it let's. Felt like. This is this, it it's going to be so a, bad. Why was yeah. nobody home? <laughs> Why was nobody home? I don't know. They should we be staying home. We drove forty minutes to each house and nobody was home. Now the donuts are melting <laughs> and there's grease all over the car. Like they don't even look presentable anymore. So we're just losing our minds. Like, <laughs> what, what was another? Situation. The donuts we were, were melting. The donuts were melting. For some reason, we weren't like, we weren't like depressed. We weren't sad. We were crying. We were cry laughing. We like there was it actual was, it tears. It was where you were so sad that it was funny. Right. Yeah. Where well, like, you're like were, crying, a, laughing at the Heath same time. And I, <laughs> Heath and I looked at each other and we just started crying. Just because was there was crazy. so much pressure yeah. on us for this video. We're trying to do something cool and trying to do something giving back to everybody and we, it just like wasn't working. Cuz we don't cuz we don't like we don't do videos like that's like I feel like that's David's chick. Like he's right. he's really good at like coming up with a really cool montage, giving back video he, and like he just has a lot of money to give to. So it, it's just it's a just a good video and we we just tried doing it and it just wasn't working. But, but we tried. We, but we went back on it day 2. Single camera, Zane and Heath style, and we got it done how we would normally get it done. We got it in two and, hours. And it worked so well, and uh, we're super, super excited and really proud of how the video came out. And yeah. we're excited for all of the graduates of 2020 and the people that we were able to surprise. And if you do want to check out the video, it's going to be up on yeah. YouTube June 6th. And we, I felt so bad. I looked at Heath. I was like, oh, my God, Matt. I feel Because Matt really wanted to be a part of this video. He was really excited about this Am video. Am I not going to be in it? No. Like no, none okay, of the okay. clips. No. <laughs> I'm not in it either. No, because we're cu we're cutting out everything from it's the okay. day before. It's okay. Because we were in different clothes. But no, no, it, it suck because Matt spent, like, we, we were in the car for how many hours? It uh, was like six hours. It was six, six hours. hours. And then the next day, we pulled ourselves together. We were like, let's do this. We, we took a loss on that money and then just did it again. And, and I'm really and happy that you, like, did get it together. Because we were originally, he, like, Zane came home that day and he was just like, I think we might back out. And I was even like, well, if you want to back out, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up yeah, over th it. By the way, thank you for like not – he was just like, hey, yeah. Zane, it's okay. Like it's okay to fail. Yeah. You're, like, like I go, it's okay. If you guys aren't happy with it and you want to give the best you can and you guys can't do it, then don't beat yourself up over it. It's okay. But it's still kind of like you were like, all right, 
But then you realized, but yeah, because like the, what the scariest part about this whole situation is that Heath and I didn't want to give a shit video because yeah. if everybody saw, everybody did so amazing, and then we came up and our video was awful, we it would it would just be just a soul crush, devastating, devastating, especially since people were just looking forward to it and it, it just. But thank God we pulled through and we got it done. And so it's a really cute video. Mariah got it done so fast, and thank you. yeah. I'm just so thankful. Okay, so we, Dan, we've been a long episode. It's a good chat. Okay, we're gonna uh, let's 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 close it up. Make baby. sure you guys subscribe to Hoot and a Half. I have my own <laughs> we will not be putting that in. That, that's very funny. Man, no, actually, congratulations. Uh, thank on you that, very man. much. Thank you. Will you guys be on it? <laughs> if you want us to be, yeah, I'd love to. Too, um, too intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> too too weird. Too, it's too competitive, guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening for tuning in we love you guys so much we appreciate it um, um but thank you guys so much as always for tuning in we appreciate every single one of you guys we hope you're all staying safe go get our merch it's on fanjoy.co slash zane and he mm -hmm. we have we're so uh, we we have like new merch coming out we do soon, in like a week or two so be prepared for that we love it very comfy very good very good see you next much week much love a baby yeah, yeah.